Muy buenas a todos, enviciados y enviciadas, y bienvenidos a un nuevo capítulo de The Wolf Among Us. Hoy vamos a comenzar, como ya sabéis todos, con el episodio 4, que madre mía, tengo, tengo... ¿Cómo está la cosa, tío? ¿Cómo está la cosa? O sea, de interesante me refiero. Tengo que, que apretar el culo para que deje ya de dilatar tanto, porque es que está esto alcanzando un punto tan, tan, tan emocionante que es que... <risa> está mortal este juego, es lo que os quiero decir. Una vez más, porque como no lo he dicho nunca, ¿no? Yo qué sé, pues... Pues os lo digo, ¿no? Que está muy bien este juego. Y, y bueno, no voy a recordar mucho de... Vamos, no voy a recordar básicamente nada de lo que ocurrió en el... En el capítulo anterior, en el episodio anterior, porque lo van a recordar todo ahora. Nada más empezar el episodio 4, disfrazado de cordero. Lo único que sí quiero decir es que muchos os habéis quejado, y estoy totalmente de acuerdo con vosotros, en que... ¿Quién fue el que tuvo la genial idea de ponerle los, sus, de poner los sus, subtítulos? Joder, que se me ha olvidado hablar. De ponerle la chiquilla esta, la mala, los, su, <risa> los subtítulos en rojo a la mala de ayer. No, no sé quién fue el que tuvo esa brillante idea. Se veían bastante mal, la verdad. Yo que estoy pegado a la pantalla del ordenador me costaba un poquito verlos, así que entiendo que vosotros no los vieseis. Se me ha quejado un montón de gente. Bueno, no sé. Eh, se lo reportamos, si queréis, a los creadores del juego. Es... No podemos hacer nada. Bueno, vamos a darle cañita, venga. Que estoy aquí enrollándome, ahora esto se va a tirar 8 años cargando y os podría contar estas cosas perfectamente mientras carga el juego. Mira, ya se ha quedado ahí atascado, madre mía. Está calentito también hoy el ordenador porque hoy le estoy dando mucha caña. Estaba haciendo unas cuantas pruebas antes, ahora quiero grabar otro vídeo también de... Una nueva re-envío, que aprovecho para hacerme publicidad aquí, que la veréis, pues no sé, en cuanto termine de grabarla, no quiero editar la re pero si tengo que reeditarla, pues no me queda más, más remedio y tardará más. Bueno, el caso, que más tarde espero subiros una re de un nuevo videojuego que voy a subir sí o sí al canal, pero que como os dije ayer en la serie de Digikemon, pues podéis decidir el orden. Y bueno, ¿qué macho? ¿Arrancas o qué? Todo esto que está cargando es el flashback que va a hacer, ¿vale? De lo que vimos ayer, o sea... Tanto y luego pana. Bueno, me voy a ir callando porque esto va a empezar ya. Si no puedes afford to look human, you're going to the farm. It's as simple as that. Do you have any idea how much it costs to have an entire family in glamour? I can't finish the mirror. It's missing a piece. Crane must have taken a shard with him. The open arms. Enjoy your stay. Thanks, Bigby. And thanks for covering for me last time, too. Bigby? How could you do this to me? I guess I finally see you for who you are! Tell me who did it! Just tell me who did it! I know you know! I don't think he did it. What? Look at him. Do you really think this man murdered these women? Japuta la guarrilla pelirroja, macho. Lo poco que ha salido y lo mal que me cae. Y es que como le han dejado el brazo, tío. Es que la escena esa en el que sale ahí el hueso y todo. Menos mal que es un juego de dibujos animados, porque si no más de uno se desmaya. Y yo me incluyo entre ese, dos, entre ese grupo. Pues así se quedó la cosa, como ya sabéis. Madre mía. No puede estar más interesante. Yo creo que tanto modo hardcore... Mira, mira al final cómo tengo a Big Le tengo al pobre hecho mierda. Lo que yo no sé es cómo se puede mover este hombre. Sí. 
easy round. <clears throat> Hollow point bullets are a nasty business. The silver slug deformed and shredded on impact. He'll be okay, though. Hmm? He'll be okay? His internal organs are positively riddled. If I don't extract every single scrap of silver, he's liable to suffer some long-term toxicosis. Easy there. Try not to move. Maybe. <sighs> we can't keep needing this way, old boy. I figured I'd get down before you were conscious. But there's little I can do for the pain. Just stay still and let me finish. Swineheart, how bad is it? Well, not the worst I've seen, but damn near it. I must say, you're testing even my skills here. Doctor. Look, I'm a bit engaged saving his life at the moment. But if the fractured extremity concerns him that much, he can set it himself. In serio? ¿Qué dices, tío? Ah, ¡Qué asco, por favor! Oh. Sigue estando mal colocado, tío. Joder, hay que tener estómago para esto, ¿eh? Si tenéis algo para comer, dejadlo a un lado. Madre mía, qué burrada, tío. Joder, yo soy Snow y me desmayo eh, al suelo. Probably better off. This way I won't have to reset it later. He's lucky to be alive, and he won't be next time if he keeps going like this. He didn't listen to me before. Maybe he'll listen to you. I don't know about that. Well, he should. There are limits to what even I can do. It's not like I asked for this shit to happen. Yes, but it's not like you actively discouraged it either. <laughs> Excuse me, Miss White, but perhaps it'd be better if you gave me a few minutes to finish with him. I, I think I should stay, at least until he's out of the woods. Believe me, Bigby couldn't be in better hands. And I need the space to work, so if you wouldn't mind... I don't... <sighs> I prefer you don't watch this anyway. We'll be done in a moment. Just please, give us the time. Hey, Doc, how much longer? Colin, leave him be. It's finished when it's finished. Because I once watched a vet sew a turtle together in ten minutes flat. Colin, you're not even supposed to be here right now. Oh, really? Where am I supposed to be? I'm here to take care of my friend. With what? Your hooves? Could I get some quiet in here? Yes, that would be helpful. Sorry. <sighs> there. All done. Great. This isn't a habit you should keep to. Having visits with me. And, well, this time... This time was no joke. Eat as many metal shellings as you see fit, but take just one more silver round near your heart, and the only place I'll be visiting you is the morgue. Miss White. He'll be fine for light duty, if he can figure out what that means. He knows what it means. It's just been an unusual couple of days. I know, but please, don't give him the excuse. His body will eventually give out. Take care of him, please. I will. He'll need rest, I assume? Sleep mostly. Just keep watch. I don't need a babysitter. I can look after myself. Clearly. Anyways, guard against, as they say. Miss White? Sheriff? Colin? Swiney? So 
So, how do you, um, feel? It's Bigby, Snow. He'll be okay. Hell, I've seen him take worse. How do you think I feel? Like shit. You should see how you look. Molo mazo. You had us. <clears throat> you had us worried there for a while. You, uh, you stopped breathing, you know, when you passed out or, or died, I guess. It, um, it kind of scared the hell out of me. I've never seen you like that. And when Swineheart arrived, you know him, he's never worried. And even he thought you were, I don't know, it was just awful. Snow, I'd never leave you. Yeah, you were really fucked up, man. You look like when you take an action figure and bend its limbs the wrong way. Colin... I'm just saying I was worried about him is all. The guy hasn't had a night's rest in days. Well, I'll get some rest when this whole thing is done. What whole thing? What's even happening out there? I mean, do you guys have like a plan or something? And who should I be asking? Should I be worried about the crooked man taking over? Snow's the boss. She'll know what's best for the community. Thanks. The crooked man came out of the shadows for a reason. For him to attack us so blatantly like that. He either feels invincible or desperate. Well, if those are my two options, I don't think I'd pick desperate. What do you mean? You traded Crane to save Bigby. I'm just saying, that's not exactly something you do when you're playing with house money. <laughs> so he called my bluff. It's not like I'm gonna let Bloody Mary just murder... It was a split-second decision, and I don't care how it looked. I'd make it again and twice on Sunday. Yeah, about that. It wasn't your fight to surrender. And what the hell does that mean? It means that I was the one getting shot to shit, so I'm the one that gets to raise the white flag. And only when I want to raise it. Look, Snow, I could have... Could have done what? Gotten yourself killed? Let Crane get away anyway? It was the only option. All I care about right now is just what does the crooked man want out of this? I thought he was just a loan shark, but clearly he's operating in other circles. It can't just be about Crane, right? Getting him out of town? Is this all about the murders? Crane can't be useful to him anymore. So what could this have to do with Faith and Lily? How long has this stuff been going on? You know, I couldn't really give a shit what they want out of this. They just made the wrong fucking enemy. <sighs> Remember what Swineheart said, okay? The Crooked Man declared war against us last night. At least that's what I thought when it happened. But now I see this war has been going on for years. We just haven't noticed it because our way of doing things is broken. We need to do things the right way. What does that mean, the right way? What do you think I mean? I don't know, but it suspiciously sounds like your way. Bigby's the one on the front lines. You can't give him a leash. He doesn't work that way. A little restraint and thought behind things will never hurt anyone, Colin. I can only do things the way I do them. And where has that left us so far? Excuse me, but it's left us with a name. Maybe the name, the Crooked Man. That's not good enough. So, starting now, we do everything cut and dried. By the book, straight as an arrow. Pure as driven snow. I'm not saying I'm the arbiter of- Sure you're not. This town has enough monsters. What happened last night, what you turned into, it can't happen again. We need monsters to fight monsters. Colin, if I really believed that we needed him to lose his flippin' mind at a moment's notice, then that would mean I'd lost all faith in our ability to help this town. Just let that side of you be done, okay? Be done and buried and we can all move on. I'm sure from your vantage point, it's extraordinarily easy to judge me. Bigby. But you sit behind a desk all day and 
Only tonight did you see what it's like to be pushed into a corner all the time just for doing your job. You think I don't know what it's like to have my life in danger? To not be pushed to do things? I know what it's like. And I know what it's like to lie to yourself. To justify what you've done. So don't talk to me like I'm other people. Look, Bigby, I care about how this is done just as much as I care about it getting done. So for that, you want to give him a handicap? Like the bad guys will worry if shit gets sloppy. Everybody wants Bigby to smile and shave and take a shower now and then. Hell, I'm practically the president of the Bigby Don't Be Such a Dick Club. But this is the wrong fucking time to put shackles on him. Relax, Colin. I can speak for myself, okay? He'll get the job done. Just let him do it. I'm going to... I'm going to let you do it, okay? It's just that... Now that I'm deputy mayor, I need your respect. And this situation has to end. What situation? All unglamored fables starting today have to go and stay at the farm. Oh, give me a fucking break. Are you gonna let her talk to me like that? It's been the rule for a reason, Colin. And Bigby knows it's for the best of the town. It keeps everybody out of trouble. And what if Amundi does see me, huh? I'm a pig, not a mouse with a hat and a cane. They know what a pig is. It's not the end of the world. That's not gonna happen. Yes, it will. It's an impossible rule to enforce, Snow. You really expect to round up every talking cat and raven in town? There's not that many stragglers left. Except the one or two you make excuses for. Wolf's residence. That's rude. Oh, Buffkin, what is it? Okay, I'll let him know. Thanks. Guess who's waiting in your office right now? Nerissa. Nerissa? That broad Hostia. from the pudding and pie? La yes. Sirenita. Apparently, she told Buffkin that she has something she needs to talk to you about. But that she'll only tell you. And what do you think that could be? Ah, uh, Bigby's got an admirer. You always do well with the, uh, disenfranchised. Something about your prickly demeanor attracts him like a moth to a flame. I should get back to the business office. I've left Buffkin alone for too long taking calls. And I should probably change out of these clothes. Consider the discussion tabled, but not over. Let me know when you're done with Nerissa. Aye, aye, Captain. She's a piece of work. Hey, you're not really gonna send me to the farm, are you? I mean, she's a serious about it, but I can still hang out here. Look, maybe a few will get sent up, but you're my friend, Colin. I wouldn't do that to you. Don't worry about it. Thanks, Bigby. ¿Cómo va a ir a la granja? Entonces Bigby también tendría que ir, ¿no? O Bigby no toma glamour. Eso es mi duda. Eso no lo sé. Y quería comentaros eh, acerca de Blancanieves. Lo que pasa es que me da miedo hablar porque me da que va a pasar algo. <risa> Se caga. <risa> Nada, el apretón. A ver, os cuento aquí mientras comienza el episodio. Yo estaba cambiando bastante mi opinión hacia Blancanieves, ¿vale? Eh... Por dos cosas, básicamente. Lo primero, porque ya se ha visto quién es el malo, que posiblemente sea él el que esté detrás de todas las muertes, todas las pistas apuntan hacia él. Y más que por eso, el detalle que más me ha llamado la atención, que me lo ha dicho un suscriptor, Nico, es que Snow eh, no me dejó morir. O sea, Snow me defendió. Bueno, puede que sea humana, yo que sé. A mí con ese gesto ya me ganó, ¿vale? Ya me hace pensar que ella no está detrás de las víctimas. A lo mejor es un error mío. No me gusta nada eso de que vaya ella como de jefa por estar allí de alcaldesa suplente. Y que no se me ponga tonta ni un cacho porque... Bueno, ya sabéis lo que puede pasar, ¿no? Soy Big Big Wolf. Big Bad Wolf. No te digo nada y te lo digo todo. Y comienza el episodio 4, disfrazado de cordero. Hola, buenas tardes. Lo que no sé es por qué no la llaman Ariel y la llaman Nerissa.
I... Um... Are you okay? You didn't look good last night. I wasn't sure you'd be... Don't be fooled by... This. I didn't get the worst of it. <coughs> Huff and puffs. Not many people smoke those. Eso a lo mejor era importante, la marca de su tabaco. No sé si era para ver que era diferente al mío o por qué. Thanks. You can start talking. There's not a lot that I can talk about. You know that. So that spell crane was trying to break. It's not just while you're at work, huh? What I mean is, I don't want to waste your time, but I don't want you wasting your own time either. Back in the dressing room at the pudding and pie, I told you what I was looking for. You found a way to tell me. You sent me to the open arms. Maybe that'll work again. You can try. I just... Go ahead. It might work. This isn't gonna work if you don't ask anything. Then again, who knows if it'll work anyway. Sometimes... But we have to find our way through life on our own, grasping and fumbling in the dark. I... I used to have friends to help me find my way, but now they're gone, and I don't know what to do. No se va a fiar Is de this me. making any sense? Are you trying to say something about Faith and Lily? What I'm saying is friends matter. And I... I don't have any left. So I hope you're looking after yours. Buen consejo. Pero vamos, que para eso no se viene a la comisaría. Se va... Are you al psicólogo. my friends are involved? Y más pistas en dirección hacia Blancanieves. I thought I could do this. I need you to know I want to help, but Es que yo creo que me ha salvado a posta para ganarse mi confianza, porque eras alcaldesa y todo. But your lips are sealed. Muy mal pinta esto, eh. Mi teoría está cobrando forma. Y no me gusta. I'm sorry if I'm wasting your time. I thought I knew how to say it. Ribbons. Faith wore one too. Do you like it? Hmm? Do you? It's not how it looks that concerns me. It's what it does. That's why you can't tell me anything. It's the ribbon, isn't it? I just... No! His lips are sealed! What? You can't! Just stay back! You can't do that! Slow down. It's all right. I'm not gonna do anything. Please, don't. Tendría que haber tenido más tacto con ella, a lo mejor. Okay. I get it. So the ribbons... If you take them off. If anyone finds out I came here. That's probably Snow. Yo creo que Snow Listen. no ha matado a nadie, pero es la cabeza. Can you keep this conversation between us? I could be in a lot of trouble. Y ha incriminado a Crane con sus fotos y su cuerpo, todo, todo, todo encaja, tío. Please, 
What are you worried about? Just please don't say anything. Sorry, I just need to talk to the sheriff for a moment. Please excuse us. One minute. I might have a new lead for you, but I don't know how solid it is. Beauty and Beast called the office just now. They said they wanted to talk to you about something. I wonder if they've heard about Crane. Thank you for listening, Sheriff. You should go on to your next business. I don't think you'll be wasting your time. Uh, wait, you don't have to go. That was... abrupt. That's one way to send a message. What did she tell you? I didn't mean to rush her out. Did you get anything from her? She couldn't really say anything. The magic that Crane was talking about, it's in the ribbon. And you can't take the ribbon off, or... It's how Faith and Lily died. Okay then, good work. So, about Beauty and Beast, do you think there's something to it? Is this the right place to look? What could they know about the Crooked Man? Or do you think they just heard about last night, and they're scared about what's been going on? Beauty told me she had to take out a loan from the Crooked Man. Seems like a pretty bad deal. I can only imagine what they're thinking now. We need to solve this before something else happens. Who knows what? I have other matters to attend to. Pues yo pienso que todas las pistas apuntan hacia Blancanieves. Encima se va a poner ahora de alcaldesa, va de jefa de Big B. Yo creo que lo único que me está haciendo es que pierda el tiempo para ganar tiempo ella y huir o no sé con qué propósito todavía. Pero está en el ajo. And when were you going to tell me? Or were you just going to keep that a secret too? You know what it was. A lo mejor no debería haberles interrumpido. Oh. What do you want? Well, you're just going around knocking on doors? Stirring the pot? I'm sorry. Were you expecting someone else? No. That was... Forget it. What do you want, Bigby? Listen, I've had a shitty night. Do you think you're the only one? And I really don't want to deal with the runaround. Snow said you called and wanted to talk to me. Well, I didn't call. Must have been Beauty. She's been surprising me a lot lately. Can I... So have you, Bigby. Yet, with all the sneaking around and secrets, somehow I'm still the bad guy in this. I've had to hear about it all night long from her. Who is it? Who's there? Beast? Look, I'm coming in. So, uh, let's not get into busting down doors today, all right? <laughs> It's your pal, Big B. Hi, Big B. Please excuse us for just a minute. Can I talk to you in private? Yes, let's. O vamos a dar una vueltecita, a cotillearle la casa. I guess I really do have the smallest apartment in the woodlands. I can already tell you're going to make a problem out of this. What's he doing here? We don't need to bring him into this. Beast. I just don't think we can trust him. Not after the way he went behind my back. And then you... Voy a cotillear antes de golpear. Well, I trust him. Of course you do. He was keeping secrets for you. It was one little thing. Mira, este cuadro se lo trajeron de recuerdo, yo creo. Está bonito el cuadro, eh. ¿Será un armario de estos que se dan la vuelta a la pared? Es 
sorry. It's been a long night. Yeah, you know what they say. Centuries of marriage come with centuries of baggage. I gotta say, your place, it looks, uh, expensive. What do you mean by that? Beast! No, really, I wanna know. What are you trying to say, huh? Did you come to give us decorating tips? I thought you were having money problems, but it doesn't look like you're suffering to me. Is this something about that loan you took out? From the crooked man? I didn't know what else to do, so... We should deal with this on our own. Bigby's just going to complicate things. I called him here, and I want to see if he can help us out. Why are you being like this? I'm just trying to do what's best for us. That's all I ever do. I'd like to help you, but I can't do anything if you don't tell me what's going on. I gotta know one thing first. What if we did have something to say about the Crooked Man? What if we talk, and you don't get it? And all this comes back on us. We'd be risking a lot. We've seen what happens when you cross the Crooked Man. And I don't know if it's worth it. If you can't give us certain assurances. You are in danger. You two need to cooperate so I can get the Crooked Man off the street. You don't want to be next. But if you'd rather deal with this on your own... No, please don't. Then tell me what the fuck is going on. You're in so much debt? Look around you. This isn't the way people short on cash live. Look, we're used to a certain kind of lifestyle, okay? We couldn't just give that up. We never meant for it to get like this. It's just that we had nowhere else to turn, and we got in over our heads. There's not a lot of work out there. Who would we be if we just lived like... Let me just, uh... A day at the beach? Skiing the slopes? <laughs> and we can't come to the phone that? right now, so leave a message at the beep and we'll get back to you as soon as... <laughs> what the fuck was that? I don't Someone worry you? about it. Probably just a wrong number. You do know I'm on a murder case, don't you? And as far as I'm concerned, wasting my time is an obstruction of justice. You want me to arrest you? No, Bigby. I'm sorry. We've been getting horrible phone calls. It's the Crooked Man's people, trying to collect, and we aren't safe, even in our own home. We owe some money. Finally. All I care about is, how can I find the Crooked Man? Who do I talk to? Where do I go? Joder, qué pesado. The Lucky Pawn. That's where I borrowed the money. The Crooked Man's behind that place. Gracias. I'd overheard people talking to Jersey about loans before. So, when I needed money, that's where I went. I didn't know what to do. You could have told me. You had enough on your plate. Wait, who do you deal with? Jersey. You know, the Jersey Devil. Oh, yeah. That slimy prick. I didn't realize he was back on this side of the river. And those Tweedles were always going in and out. Probably dropping off a loan payment they squeezed out of some poor fable. But never the Crooked Man. Mainly it's just regular fables. I can see now that it was a mistake, but I'm not the only one who goes there, you know. I saw the Woodsman's Axe there just the other day. It was in a display case. I guess he's hit hard times, too. There's a lot of that going around. I can't imagine he has a lot of marketable skills. Sometimes, fables just don't have anywhere else to go. Fucking Bloody Mary must go through there. She had Woody's axe last night, trying to chop my damn head off with it. Maybe if you go there, you can sort some things out. I guess I'll go check out the Lucky Pawn. If I can't track down the Crooked Man there, maybe I can make enough noise that the crooked man will come find me. Hold on, Bigby. Don't go there. Sounds like you're just going to get Beauty in trouble. And...
You know that butcher shop, the cut above? It's the place on Tubman Street, same block as the baker and the candlestick maker. Well, I've been delivering packages from there for a while. The thing is, it's for the crooked man. And I don't think it's meat in the packages. You, you gotta understand, I needed work. You have to believe us. We didn't think it would get like this. Well, what are you delivering? What's going on there? How does this fit into the crooked man's operation? I couldn't tell you, but I do know this. It's the only meat market in town that doesn't carry filet. I'm not sure how much actual butchery goes on there. How did you get involved with this? Johan the butcher called. He had a problem with the refrigeration unit one night. But when I finished, it was your pal Mary who showed up to pay me. She said I was reliable. She liked that. And it's the only thing I've been able to pick up. And it's still not enough. I don't want Beauty to have to work, especially not where she was. It's up to me to take care of her. It's Mary you deal with? Bloody Mary is there? No, Johan is the one who hands over the packages, you know, day to day. But I've seen her around there. She uh, gets under my skin, you know? I, I try to avoid her. But I don't need to tell you what she's You're like. You're damn right you don't. I don't need a rundown on her reputation. If Mary works out of there, I need to look into it. I just wanted to provide for beauty. Give her the kind of life she deserves. We shouldn't have to live like this, scraping to get by. None of us should. We were royalty once. We were accustomed to a certain lifestyle. All we want is to make this place feel a little bit like home. You wouldn't understand, Big B. Entiendo que sois unos soplapollas, tío. Fuck off. There are a lot of fables who have it a lot worse off than you. Or me, for that matter. So? Where are you going? If this all goes sideways, I'd like to know where it's coming from. Hmm. Otra decisión. Pues no sé, much. No sé. The lucky pawn. That's where I borrowed the money. The crooked. You know that butcher shop, the cut above. The thing is, I don't think it's meat in the packages. A ver. Lucky pawn. That's where I borrowed the money. El que más me atrae es la carnicería porque ahí hay una tapadera. Y aquí en el empeño sobre todo, bueno, a primera vista no hay That's nada interesante, pero seguro que nos tienen algo preparado. Voy a elegir la carnicería aún así. I want to know what the crooked man is hiding at that butcher shop. You know, Big B, once you show up there, word is gonna spread. There may be nothing left for you to see if you go to the Lucky Pawn after. Well, I guess I'll find out. Efectivamente, lo que yo pensaba. Wait, I don't know what you're planning to do when you find the Crooked Man, but is there any way you could help us out? What do you mean? Well, maybe you can make this all just go away. We would really appreciate it. What do you say? Can you help us out? I'll handle it. I'm not gonna let that crooked bastard ruin any more lives. Oh, thank you, Big B. I'm sure you'll do the right thing. Sí, pero no te lo mereces, eh? No lo merecéis. Pues no sé, macho, no sé. Esto de las decisiones me va a obligar a jugar a este juego dos veces. Pero bueno, eso me gusta también, ¿eh? Eso es la leche. <risa> Ironía. Bueno, pues aquí me sueltan, gente. Pues yo me voy a ir quedando ya por aquí, porque no sé si no cuándo me van a dejar libre. Es que este juego, por ejemplo, ahora acaba de guardar. Entonces, si ahora me pongo a hablar con quien sea, ya mañana cuando quiera grabar, lo tengo que hacer antes de empezar a grabar y eso me parece un coñazo. Por eso voy dejando los capítulos cuando veo que el juego guarda. Tiene guardado automático, que ya lo he visto, no puedes guardar tú de ninguna otra manera. 
Así que nada, yo ya estamos en la mitad, yo creo, en el ecuador del episodio 4, casi comenzando la recta final. Y yo creo que voy a mantener mi teoría acerca de Snow hasta el final. ¿Por qué? Pues yo creo que ya os lo he dicho, pero bueno, lo voy a volver a recordar por si acaso. Me apetece a mí, oye. Eh, bueno, para empezar... Mmm, cuando empecé a sospechar de ella fue cuando volvió a aparecer viva, ¿vale? Porque para hacerle a ella el hechizo de glamour, a la troll, a la asesinada... Eh, tuvieron que cortarle un mechón de pelo y, hombre, hay que ser un poco pringado, ¿no? Para no darte cuenta de que te han cortado un mechón de pelo. Puede pasar, pero bueno, ya era el primer indicio. Eh, ¿Qué más cosas he ido viendo? He ido viendo cómo, cómo Snow, cómo Blancanieves, mmm, ha ido cambiando el personaje, ha ido evolucionando de ser súper tierna con Bigby, eh, ha pasado a a ordenarle, ¿no? A creerse como mi superior, por así decirlo. Y... Pff, está flipando, o sea, no se lo cree ni ella eso, vamos. Mm, me ganó un poco cuando me salvó la vida, a pesar de que había muchos indicios hacia ella, ahí me ganó. Más que cuando se descubrió el malo, yo mi clave fue que me salvó. Ahí fue cuando me ganó realmente. Pero claro, teniendo en cuenta que esto es un videojuego, ¿quién me dice a mí que no estuviese todo programado para que mi cabeza piense que, bueno, es una rayada, ¿no? Muy interesante. Yo pienso que Snow, hombre, no se ha manchado las manos, ¿sabes? Si se ha manchado las manos ha sido con Crane, ¿vale? Para incriminarle, destituirle a posta y ser ella la nueva alcalde, ¿vale? Cuando Crane desaparezca, pues... No sé, puede que estuviese todo pactado y que lo que vivimos en el final del capítulo de ayer fuese un poco teatrillo, ¿no? No sé. No sé, hay... Hay tanto que conspirar, tanto que... No sé, me gustaría mucho que me dijeseis vuestras supuestas teorías. Sin spoiler, por favor, si alguien sabe ya el verdadero final, pues que se lo ahorre. Pero si no sabéis el final, que me imagino que nadie se lo sabrá, porque si esta vez el final no sé qué sentido tiene ver esta serie otra vez... Bueno, sí, tiene decisiones diferentes, pero bueno, a lo que voy. Que me gustaría saber vuestras teorías. Yo sospecho de Snow porque mmm, le está saliendo todo bien. Y va de mosquita muerta y las mosquitas muertas... Ya, bueno, ya viendo lo de las fotos de Crane, que ella se ha puesto de alcalde, que la sirenita me ha dicho eso de mis amigos. ¿Mis amigos quién van a ser? El sapo Toad va a ser el malo. Eh, Bafkin va a ser el malo todo apunta a ella, básicamente entonces, o la sirenita me la ha liado y y me la ha liado o yo qué sé o estoy teniendo razón por una vez, aunque no me gustaría nada que Blancanieves fuese la mala del juego pero bueno, y ya me estoy poniendo un poco plasta, así que ya dejo el capítulo de hoy aquí espero que os haya gustado y estoy deseando ya de leer vuestras teorías un saludo y nos vemos en el próximo vídeo hasta la próxima